What is going on, everybody? We're back on at Code Geass Season 2, Episode 7. Coming off the last episode, we pretty much had, like, the first... Was it the first one of this season? The first kind of, like, classic Black Knight's attack and kind of back to their, like, rebellious ways, taking over certain territories, places, um, raiding, transports, and all that stuff. They have made their first move since they've kind of been reborn. Um... We saw Lelouch actually physically see Nunnally. Didn't reveal his his identity, um, but he did physically see her, and we know that she's alive. Um, still just a lot to find out about how everyone's minds got erased about Nunnally in the school and what they told Nunnally about Lelouch um, and why they're, they had to be separated. Um, so we've got that aspect we got the reveal that the Emperor Charles and um, V2 are brothers. Um, I don't know if C2 has a relation to them as well. So it looks like we need to find out a lot about V2 as we do with C2 as well. Um, and then I'm really hoping that the Black Knights get some kind of um, upgrades. Because if they're going to be fighting up against the Knights of Seven through the rest of this season... It can't be Colin taking them on 1v7 the entire time. You know, give Toto, give some of the other ones some, like, upgraded nightmares so they can keep pace because their nightmares just can't keep up and they're so outdated. Like, Rakshada needs to help them out. They need a whole new outfitted um, equipment. And then we'll see what the Chinese Federation has to do as far as, like, what role they play. Do they come out swinging and completely aid and support the Black Knights? Do they stay out of it? Um a lot going on here so we're at the very beginning of the episode we haven't skipped through anything we're pressing play on it right hold on hold on there we go all right we're play pressing play on it right now He sounds like a great leader. Make this a little bit bigger for you. There we go. All right, he sounds like a very... He doesn't sound like a leader. It sounds more like a warp dictatorship concept. All right, we're skipping through the intro. Boom, I skipped through the intro. I'll pause it again so you guys can sync up. We're right at the title screen. Right at it, turn seven. Pressing play on it right. Let's get it. Fire. I was about to say he has a decision to make because the same. Why are they choosing to protect her though? They wanted to hunt her ass down and kill her and Lelouch just a year ago. Now all of a sudden she's this protected Viceroy. Here she goes.
87th in line. Jesus. So none of the kids know who she is. They don't know anything about her. Wow. She's got the same thing Euphemia wanted to do. So she's in the way again. What does... You know what happened the last time somebody wanted to do that? She had to die. go against her. They're never going to do that shit again. Like, they're never going to just let the Japanese get rallied up in one area again. That'll never happen. And now none of the Britannias are going to agree with her. But she's in power, so what are you going to do about it? But he's just... He's not really about to do... He just... Abandoned them again, or what? Oh, God. That was Nunnally in there. Jesus, Kaguya. Don't touch her. You're going to get some funky visions. Okay, cool. Don't. Don't. Peanut butter with wasabi? Oh, fuck. He just gyased the whole fucking train? Jesus. Got his ass, too. He's freaking out. He's going to have a panic attack in a minute. She's everywhere. Rolo, I need you to slap this man. One time. And 
do. Go against her. All right, right away, let's get this new push-up world record going. My man got a good seven push-ups in. Yeah, I mean, and sh she's pretty much couldn't be any safer than who's Marion? She talking to all of it for Nunnally. She couldn't be more safer than she is now. And he wanted to do something for the Elevens, which she also did. So it's like, what's the point? The Japanese would never ever go back there to the new zone. Like, you can make it sound as great. What happened last time, they can never, ever trust it again. Ever. Just trying to get some good memories gone. Is he going to do it? Is she going to do it? Oh god. She has, she assaulted him. Rolo still tracking him? Oh fuck, whoops, speak of the devil, he's right there. Maybe Rolo can say some inspiring words here. Bro, you were trying to kill her a year ago. It's 
it's so weird to see her talk directly to him. Knowing he, they've been trying to kill her. God, I hate... Fireworks. This is more of him just, like, being happy. Be happy. See, they remember everybody but none of them. Could literally just stop everything and just be a kid. We know he won't, because the story could just end now, but... <clears throat> but does he does, uh, I'm ju I'm just trying to think out what the plan of action is going to be. Not going to, he's not going to accept that. Gave him like a final goodbye, so what's the play here? But to say, he has this whole Black Knight surrounded here, like, what is, what's, uh, what's the play here? How do y'all get out of this? Rockshotty, you got something for us, girl? I don't know how they get out of this. Y'all got some backup forces we don't know about? Oh god. Rakshada, you got any suggestions, girl? Like, the entire character- okay, here we go. But to say every chess piece he has is in that submarine. Here we fucking go.
How the fluff do they get out of this? I gotta see it to believe it, how the hell they get out of this. They're going to explode by their own weapons. Oh, shit. Everybody offline. Boom. How the hell did he pull that shit off? Tell me Rolo's in that. I want to see him fucking transmission all over the place. She said, don't kill any 11s. Don't say it. So the episode ends. I think we know that there's something else at play. Because again, um, the story would be over. You know, the Black Knights, they participate in the special zone. They go on living happily ever after, and that'd be the end of the story. But it's not. So I don't know what the play is here. I don't know if he plans to even tell anybody what the play is here. Maybe just him and Rolo, maybe him and C2, maybe just him. Um, but I doubt that the end game is for them to just assimilate with the special internment zone in Area 11 and just go on about their days. Maybe he uses that for as long as he can until it gets him closer to whatever it might be, closer to Nunnally, closer to King Charles, Emperor Charles, um, but I doubt that's how it's going to be. Um, a little bit of a slower episode because it was a lot of kind of Lelouch inner dialogue play. Uh, but that end scene there was pretty great. Um, seeing them kind of escape. Not seeing them, I mean pretty much Lelouch came up with the idea. Um, we just really need to find out what's the play here. Um, I just feel like Nunnally is not going to survive to the end of this. I, I don't know how um, she can. You know, because whatever their play is here, the the stronger the Black Knights get, or we find out Lelouch is really, they find out Lelouch has gotten his memories back, whatever it is, she's going to be the bargaining chip that dangles in front of his face. Now, whether that comes to a point where the Emperor is going to give the order to Suzaku to kill Nunnally, because maybe Lelouch is approaching or getting closer, the Black Knights have them pinned, and to kill Nunnally, maybe that'll be the deciding factor to, for Suzaku to snap out of it and find out that what he's been doing is wrong or who he's supporting isn't right. Um, we'll kind of see what, what direction that takes. And again, how the entire student body, at least the majority of them, were wiped of knowing who Nunnally is is wild to me. Um, clearly it was from the Emperor, but how did he get access to all of them? And uh, I'm sure we'll find out more about that, but we didn't get any V2, any C2 kind of background or knowledge, which I feel like those episodes are going to be really crucial to the story. Um, but we'll see. We're seven down and what, eight to go? Eight. <laughs> seven down, 18 left to go. Um, so it should be solid. You guys should see this uh, November 5th on Patreon, and we'll keep it going from there. And when you guys are seeing this, if you're having issues with any of joining the Discord on Patreon, Message me directly on Patreon or message me on Twitter, um, and I'll get that situated to make sure you have the proper link to the Discord, um, all that good stuff. We'll end it there. Patreon, I'll see you guys with episode 8 on Thursday, and I think when this is up, YouTube, you guys should be on season 1, episode 19 slash 20 or 20 slash 21. Um, we'll go from there. Patreon, tomorrow. Live Watch Party Hunter Hunter episode 112 on Twitch. 
Um, but from there, like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always, 